Hey everybody, Dirty Side Gets Down here, doing a little technical video on the myth that is a sniper will not work on a dual plane intake manifold. Stick around to see why that is not true. Dirty Side Gets Technical. We may not know everything, but our stuff almost always works sometimes. So if you've made it here to this video, you've probably heard somebody on Facebook or somewhere say that snipers just don't work with dual plane intake manifolds or Terminator X. People say that too. There's an old episode of Engine Masters where they used one of the original Terminator throttle body injection systems. Not Terminator X Stealth, but Terminator. And they had some issues that they decided came from the crossover and the dual plane intake dividing both sides and not getting proper map readings. Originally, I kind of chalked that up to just the time constraints of TV and there wasn't time to figure it out, so they moved on. They had to get the episode done. I did a little digging and have kind of figured out why I've always seen Snipers and Terminator X Stealth works fine on dual plane intake manifolds. So here's what we found. So this is the bottom side of the original Terminator throttle body injection system. And if you look to the left, right here, you can see the map sensor port. That feeds into the driver's side of the intake manifold. Here you can see where the divider would normally sit on that intake and how it blocks one side from the other. So you can see it gets a vacuum signal here, but is blocked on this side. This is the original Sniper 4150, the 550 510, 511, 516. And you can see where that map sensor port is in the middle where the divider sits when that throttle body is bolted to the intake manifold. And then these two channels here allow the map signal from both sides to get to the map sensor and read equally. Same goes for the Sniper Stealth. Right here you have the map sensor port. This is where the divider and the intake manifold would sit. It has these two channels to read vacuum equally. It runs through this channel here to the map sensor. None of this really applies to the Terminator X Stealth because it uses a remote mounted map sensor. Uh, you can use one of the ports on the throttle body to feed that map sensor and there is a port right in the middle to get both sides. Hopefully this helps clear up that myth as to why you can use a sniper on a dual plane intake and you don't need a single plane. There's nothing wrong with a sniper on a single plane intake if your engine makes the power that's needed for it and if you're in the upper RPM range like you would need a single plane intake for. You don't want to just go stick a single plane intake on your 300 horsepower small block. If you have any questions don't hesitate to throw up in the comments. I'll answer what I can. If you have any ideas for other videos you want to see, put that in the comments too. I'll do my best to make it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, I'll stop asking you to subscribe. 